Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'd like to start off by apologising for getting this Forzathon video out so late. I do apologise for that, but it is obviously here now. So without further ado, we'll get stuck into this week's Forzathon called Real Open Sports, which wants you to use a 2009 Honda S2000CR to complete the challenges with. Now this is the car in question and it will set you back 25,000 credits to purchase from the auto show. I've also created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon, the share code is 12111597 and it's not anything overly powerful but it will get the job done. Now the first challenge here nice and easy wants you to win the Vulcan Sprint. Now this is located at the very bottom of the trail for the, Vul the Caldera Volcano. I have again created a blueprint for this called Falls Thon Easy. It's the normal race, which is of course a sprint race, so it's one lap, but with no AI driver tires. And depending on your tune, it will take you about 3 minutes 20 to 3 minutes 40 seconds. So it's not a quick race, but it's nice and easy to do with a blueprint like that. Now the next challenge here wants you to earn three ultimate drift or e-drift skills. Now to do this, I'd stayed in the same location. Just recommend basically turning around and driving back down the mountain to get your drift skills. Now for those of you who aren't aware, the difference between a drift and an e-drift is the use of the handbrake. So if you use your handbrake, you will get an e-drift skill. If you initi initiate the drift normally, you'll get just a normal drift skill. But it is nice and easy to do. Like I said, I have tuned this a little bit, which makes it a bit easier. But the standard car's rear-wheel drive anyway, so it's not too difficult to use. Now the last challenge here, nice and easy, just wants you to drive five miles. So to do this, of course, I recommend heading over to the highway. This I believe is the best place for it, as you can just drive flat out until the challenge pops up as complete. Now for some people it may be less than five miles and others it may be more. Some of the, sometimes these sort of challenges do vary in sort of completion times. But if you tune your car even more, obviously you'll get it done even quicker. This probably took me about two to three minutes to do a couple of runs of the highway nice and easy. Now, hopefully this guy did help you out. But if you are struggling with any of the challenges this week, then please do let me know down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. If it did help you new to the channel, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and drop in a like will massively help me out as well. But apart from that, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Make sure you stay safe and take care.